heavy rainfall, likely some flooding taking place right now. It's moving to the west at 12 miles per hour, and as we continue through time, we do expect it to kind of weeble wobble a little bit more to the north and west. So what exactly does Category 4 hurricane mean? Winds are between 130 and 156 miles per hour. Even though it's a Cat 4, we're still looking at catastrophic damage that will occur. And Category 5 hurricane, uh, obviously we're looking at the same amount of damage, so it really doesn't matter at this point whether it's a Cat 4 or a Cat 5. We have to stay on guard here over the next couple of days, especially uh, for those in South Florida. At this point, if if you know anybody down here in South Florida, they do need to get out. There's no east or west that you can go toward. Everyone has to start heading north, and there are mandatory evacuations in place. So all of the red areas you see here throughout the Bahamas, uh, getting into West Palm Beach, Miami, down into the Florida Keys, that is where a hurricane warning is in effect right now. To the north, Sarasota, Tampa, up to Daytona Beach, we have a hurricane watch in place. So to kind of break things down for you here, hurricane warning, this is where we could see sustained winds between 74 and 158 miles per hour. Not gusts, but sustained winds. And you're also looking at storm surge and also flooding is likely as well. Throughout the Florida Peninsula, some areas will pick up between four and even eight inches of rain with some spots perhaps picking up close to a foot of rainfall here. We're not looking at rainfall totals like we saw with Hurricane Harvey as this system is going to continue to quickly move, but the rain's going to come down very quickly. So you have Hong Kong's biggest cyclone ever was will scare you to death. You can see the sky, a huge flood formation. And one of the guys is flying away with a huge wind. You can see the picture. The cover is just moving for the uh, high, high speeding waves. Guy is flying this way. The Monster Irma Florida prepares for the disaster. Hurricane Irma has been upgraded to a Category 5 hurricane, earning its rank as one of the seven strongest hurricanes on record in the Atlantic Ocean. On September 5th, wind speeds had reached 180 miles per hour and are expected to continue to increase. Meteorologist Eric Holtus commented on the storm's progression in a tweet stating, Hurricane Irma is now expected to exceed the theoretical maximum intensity for a storm in its environment. Redefining the rules, scientists from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, were able to capture footage from inside the storm. Video capturing techniques like this are necessary for scientists to obtain data to accurately track the path and intensity of the storm. Research planes piloted by hurricane hunters were also flown into the eye of Hurricane Irma to gather images and give researchers a better look of inside the storm. The projected trajectory of the hurricane runs slightly north of Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, Haiti, and Cuba, and just south of the Bahamas and the United States. This Sunday, the hurricane is expected to make landfall in the United States. Florida is one of the world's largest producers of orange juice, coming in just after Brazil. Approximately two-thirds of the state's orange juice exports come from the lower two-thirds of the state, an area expected to be most severely impacted by Hurricane Irma. 